Hello, I'm Dr. Carly Pond, clinical lead at Biomsite. This video is a part of a series where I walk through how a practitioner would look at sample results. Before we dive in, I need to remind you that while I am a doctor, I am not your doctor. The information in this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended as medical advice. Please speak to your healthcare provider before making any changes to your healthcare. Diversity describes the number of different species in your gut and how well balanced the different bacteria are. Basically, the higher the diversity, the better the health outcomes. In general, we like to see diversity higher than the 90th percentile. So lack of diversity has been associated with allergies, asthma, obesity, insulin resistance, and inflammation throughout the body. Factors affecting diversity are primarily diet and medications. Things impacting your microbiome development as a child may also impact diversity. So this includes were you born via C-section or vaginal delivery? Were you breastfed or bottle, bottle fed? Medication use in the first two years of life and whether or not you were essentially allowed to roll around in dirt. Antibiotic use throughout your life and current NSAID or proton pump inhibitor use can also decrease diversity. Pesticides and chemical exposures in your diet will also decrease diversity. So to increase diversity, eat a wide variety of plant-based foods in the colors of the rainbow. Aim for 40 different veggies, spices, nuts, seeds, legumes, and grains a week. Fermented foods and probiotic supplements can temporarily increase diversity as well. And prebiotic supplements can also increase diversity more so for the long term.